if you could work with anybody, you know, if you could work with anybody in the industry, whether it be independent or mainstream, who would it be and why? Um, I would definitely love to work with Kendrick. I feel like it's it's gonna be bigger than just the song. I feel like the whole package of the whole even if we did music video, whatever we did, I feel like the whole creativity behind the shit is gonna be uh, a dope vibe, very artsy, very creative, thinking outside the box. I like shit where you can think outside the box. I don't like basic shit that everybody can do. Right. It's just it takes the whole fun out of being an artist. You're just a rapper now. Exactly. Um, so I would definitely think definitely Kendrick will probably be the first person I would definitely would love to do some shit with. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Where. Who are you listening to right now? Who would you say is the number one person that's on your playlist? Uh, anything Legion of Doom. Ah, I can dig it. Anything. All right, favorite sneaker? Uh, Jordan Olympic Sevens. Ooh, okay. That's you actually the first person I heard say that. Olympic Most Sevens people, and was my number one. Hell yeah! Most people be like Jordan Elevens. That's my shit. So. <laughs> Olympic Sevens. All right, celebrity crush. Who who is it? Whether it be past, present. Man, I'm gonna be honest. Right now, it's Scissor. Ooh. SZA is cold. Yeah, she is. SZA is cold. That's a good pick. All right. I think we was talking about this uh, earlier before we started the interview with, with with Mac Bob. But what's your preference, woods or papers, and why? Um, It, it could be something else, too. It ain't got to be woods or papers. For sure, I think I smoke papers more than anything. My, I would say my little bro put me on. He was fucking with the papers heavy. Okay. Um. But it's like sometimes I just had that itch where I just want to dabble with that tobacco for or maybe <laughs> one time just to get that feeling. But for the most part, it's definitely papers um, or it might be a pipe. Okay, dope. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, definitely on some entrepreneurship um, type shit. Um, I feel like that's the wave. That's where we're going. I feel like I respect everybody in 2020 who has made some type of entrepreneurial uh, moves. They didn't sit there, made no excuses. They made a plan, executed, and continued. Um, that's like one thing that I definitely value right now in life is being that able to have those opportunities to do whatever the hell you want to do. Dope. Um, but for sure, entrepreneurship, next five. Okay. What's the first uh, thought that comes to mind when I say the name Breonna Taylor? Uh, man, beautiful black queen got a life took for no reason. Simple as that. And that's the same shit we going through. Um, there's no excuse for what happened. It's foul what happened. But we just got to make sure we can't allow this shit to happen no more in the future. Dope. No I more. respect that. Appreciate you saying that too. Um, and then this is also an opinionated question. Who would you say is the rap MVP of 2020? Um, Lil Baby. I think Lil Baby had a nice run. Um, I caught on late to him, but after listening to him, I would definitely say I can understand why he took over 2020. Um, I think he still is like the only artist that got like the one double platinum in the year 2020 or one platinum, something like that. But yeah. He, that, I would definitely say he got 2020 for sure. All right, dope. And then one more random offshoot question. Um, how do you feel about Kanye's outburst um, in regards to the contract disputes for artists or whatnot? I respect it because everybody else, we, we, we don't hear shit like that. So when he was dropping all of that, everybody was tuning in. They was paying attention. It's like, okay, what is he talking about? Um, I seen a lot of artists shipping in, and it's crazy because within 2020, man, where everybody been on Kanye's line about some of the shit he's been saying. So the fact that he was dropping that type of knowledge about the industry that 90% of us are trying to get into or are involved in, it opened your mind. So I was like, any knowledge you always get when it comes to music or anything outside of music is always a plus. Dope, dope. All right, bro. Well, that's going to wrap up our interview for today, yeah, yeah. man. But I uh, just wanted to say that I truly, truly appreciate you coming through, man, sure. and fucking with Full Effect TV. Yep. Um, we'll, we definitely look forward to having you uh, come back again soon. And maybe next time, you know, we'll do a uh, dual interview with you and Mac Bob and, yep. and, and get some more jokes off and shit like that. It's all man. good. But it's I appreciate good. you, bro. I appreciate you. Shout out Pack the Beast. Yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Pack the Beast. your boy, Mac Bob. You are now tuned in with Full Effect TV. Tune in and subscribe, man. Yes, sir.